Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about my first triathlon. Before we jump in, I want to thank you for being here and just ask that if you've been enjoying the videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and tell a friend. It really helps a lot. Now, this was my first triathlon. However, last year I had trained for a half Ironman that got canceled because of the pandemic. So this wasn't my first go around when it came to preparing for a race. However, stepping to the line was a new experience and I want to share that with you because I learned a few things that go far beyond just the sport of triathlons. The race was the Lidditz annual sprint triathlon held out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And before we talk about the race itself, it would be helpful to look back at the two or three weeks leading up to the race. And that's because I caught a cold. And while it's unfortunate that I had a cold leading up to and even the day of the race, it was out of my control and I had to accept that. And so the first lesson in race preparation or in anything else in life is to control what you can control. Of course, leading up to the race, I was nervous. I was nervous, but I was also excited. And the thing that I had to continue to remind myself of was that I had put in the work and that the work will speak. I had to be confident in my preparation and knowing that I gave everything I had during race prep, during my training, allowed me to walk up to the starting line confident. That brings us to the swim. As soon as I got in the pool, all of my nerves literally washed away. The swim took place in the Lidditz Recreation Center pool, which was an outdoor 25 meter pool. And because it was happening in a pool, everybody was starting in 15 second intervals. Now, in order to get our start times, we had to give an estimated swim time. And looking back, I probably chose a swim time that was too slow. And what had happened was, as soon as I got in the water and started to swim, I realized that I was going to need to pass the person in front of me. At the same time, the person behind me was a fairly strong swimmer, and I felt pressure to not let them pass me. So the entire swim, I felt like my pace was very much controlled by the person in front of me and the person behind me. But I had to continue to remind myself to race my race, to not let other people dictate how I was going to approach the day. And that's the lesson here for the swim. Race your race. Now, as soon as I got out of the pool, I ran to the transition area and actually felt pretty good. I clipped into the bike and started going. And I don't know if this was because I was unfamiliar with the course, uh, my eyes aren't great and I wasn't able to read the sign, and or the flag person pointed me in the wrong direction and it could have been a combination of all three. However, as I got off on the bike, there was nobody in front of me and I started going, I was feeling good, picking up some speed um, and I started passing people who were supposed to be marking the course and there was this weird feeling I had because I was all by myself that maybe something wasn't right and eventually about one and a half or two miles out, I came across a group of people who told me I was actually going in the wrong direction. So I had a decision to make. I was either going to get upset and let that influence the rest of my race, or I was gonna take a deep breath and realize that the past is the past and I couldn't change what had just happened. I decided to take that course of action. I turned around, got back on track, and made up as much time as I could. The bike was the most enjoyable part of the race, and despite that wrong turn at the beginning, I actually ended up making pretty good time. I had a lot of fun on the bike and I think I realized that in life we often make wrong turns. We make mistakes, we do things that we probably shouldn't have done, but we can't beat ourselves up about those things. Sure, we could acknowledge them, we can learn from them, but at the end of the day we need to keep moving forward because hanging back with our mistakes is only going to hold us back. And that's what I learned from the bike. One more lesson from the bike before we move on is that it's important to know the course. Obviously, in a triathlon, knowing the course means one thing, but in life, it's important to know the course. It's important to look ahead and to map things out. And while life is a little bit more ambiguous than a set triathlon course, I think the same principle applies. 
We need to know where we're going if we want to get to where we want to be. And it was a silly mistake on my part day of the triathlon. Um, but in life, I think that we can all learn from it. And I hope that you do. Now, as the bike ended, I got off, put on my running shoes and headed out. As I was starting the run, I noticed another triathlete who looked like they were in great shape and I decided I would just tag along because they were going at my pace. I heard a spectator yell to that triathlete, take it slow, don't burn out. And I realized that I had a decision to make at that point. I could slow down and make sure that I had enough gas in the tank to finish strong or I could go hard out of the gate and risk burning out by the end of the race. I chose to go slow and I hung back with this other triathlete and as we went on, I picked up speed. And I can't tell you how much my legs hurt at the end of that race, but it was a good kind of hurt. It was the kind of hurt where you look back and you wish you can kind of just run one more mile. I know that's a weird thing to say, but if you've ever run a race or if you're just sadistic like myself, you get it. At the end of the race, after crossing the finish line, the best part of the day was seeing my wife and her family who were there to cheer me on. It's an incredible feeling to finish a race and to have the people that you care about there around you. And the coolest part of the whole day was getting to see people pushing themselves, people of all different backgrounds and ages and fitness levels all just trying their best to push the limits of what's possible and to challenge themselves and to cheer others on and to encourage other people. And it was just such an uplifting place to be. The other thing that I learned is that everybody can win. Well, everybody can't win, but everybody can win if winning means trying your absolute best to be better. And that's the last lesson. You don't have to do what other people are doing. It's not about the first person to cross the finish line or the person with the best job or the person with the most money or the person with the best life. Everybody can win because winning is an internal battle. It's not something that happens on the outside. It's something that happens on the inside. And to end this video, I want to share a quote that very much relates to how I felt during the race, but also relates to how I feel about life. The quote is from Mark Allen and he once said, you can keep on going and your legs might hurt for a week, or you can quit and your mind will hurt for a lifetime. Whatever it is that you're pursuing, give your best effort and push limits. Don't stop, don't quit, don't make excuses. At the end of the day, we get to each choose between the pain of discipline in the moment or the pain of regret down the road. It's your choice. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend. I'm planning on doing more racing down the road. And if you'd like me to make more videos about that, let me know. You can also follow along on social media. Everything's down in the description if you want to see and learn a little bit more about my training. I appreciate you as always, and I hope that you have a great, great day. And for those who are curious how the race ended up, I ended up finishing fifth in my age group and 13th overall out of 250 people. If we subtract the extra time that I went off course during the bike, I probably would have finished in the top five overall, but that's not what's important. I'm going to race more races down the road. Hopefully I'll stay on course. And at the end of the day, I feel good about what happened. And one more cool thing about this race in particular, as I said, it was out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I ran into Mike Bear who is the father of Nick Bear, founder and CEO of Bear Performance Nutrition. Uh, I'm part of their team. It's a company and an organization that I believe in with all of my heart. And it was just a really cool moment. He was racing in the race. He's in incredible shape um, and just an inspiration. So Mike, if somehow your eyes land on this video, it was great getting to meet you and hopefully I'll see you at another race down the road.